thought we'd be a perfect match. Um, Ashley and I worked out together, and Andy and Joel worked out together. And one of the evenings, Joel said to Ashley, you know what we should do? Set up Brett and Andy. Um, it was Thursday, me and him was in the weight room lifting, and he said, like, let's go get some wings. Well, I told him, like, well, I can't tonight because I didn't bring any clothes to change into. All I had on was, I had sweats, and it had holes in it, and I had a, a small sweatshirt on, so it, Really nothing matched, didn't look good. He's like, oh, you'll be fine. Cleanse me in the mercy of your love. Love is kind. He does not envy, it does not boast, and it is not proud. Love is not rude, and it is not self-seeking. It does not easily anger, nor does it keep the record. And Andy did not know that we were going to be there, so Joel and Andy came in their gym workout outfits. Well, Brittany went to the wrong place at first. She went to the brew house. As I was fully aware that there was going to be a boy that I was going to meet. So we went in, sat down. When she walked in, she was all dressed up. She had a nice, wonderful scarf on. I mean, he, she just had a that smile instantly, right from the get-go. You can see that smile in eyes. And it was just, that's the first thing that you know caught my eyes is just the way she smiled. And she can kind of light up the room. But most of all, Andy and Brittany, what God today has joined together. Let no one, let no thing ever be allowed to break it apart. Amen. Andy, you may kiss your bride. I mean, just extremely happy, you know, just kind of ready for it to finally be here and be happy. I asked him, how are you feeling? You know, it's natural to be nervous heading into your wedding day. And I said, you know, how are you feeling? How are you doing? He said, man, I'm stuck. I just ate a, a whole pizza. <laughs> Which is the most on-point annual average response there ever was. Well, well yeah. I, think, I think they've grown a lot together, learning to work together, and understanding what's important to each, to each other. And they've learned to value each other's opinions, I think. I think they complement each other really nicely. Um, where one is weak, the other strong. And now I'm going to cry. Yes. Oh. Again, he's not always going to say the right things. He's not even going to do the right things. A lot of times he may not say anything at all. <laughs> <laughs> and if he does, he's probably going to do the wrong thing. <laughs> but just know that no matter what, uh, he's going to have your back. And he's going to be there for you. 
Uh, you're part of our family now too, so we're gonna be there for you as well. Yeah, Hattie. <laughs> Has anyone had a he makes her, and for as long as I've known Brittany, she always wished to meet her British charming. I think I can speak for everyone here when I say that she has truly found her happy ever after. <laughs> so if everyone would raise your glass, I'd like to wish the bride and groom a lifetime of happiness. And he's like, well, I'm just gonna get ready for bed too. And then I walked in the bedroom. And as soon as she turned around, I, she just started to cry. She like teared up and would shake her head. And was like, yes. And I'm like, and I looked up and I'm like, well, you got to circle one. She hurried up and found a pen and was circling so I could put the ring on her finger, so. Jamie and Brittany know each other so well. I know they'll drive and I think they've been together for so long and been through um, so much that it helps them drive together and understand each other. I can't wait to walk down the aisle. My dad picks my hand, puts it in his hand, and it's just like, that's it. You're mine. I'm yours. watching back just make sure you always treat Brittany with you know respect and absolutely love her and do everything for her that she ever wants <laughs>